slaughter double back, nigga. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Mr. Julian Brown, Murder Gang Juju, has been found guilty of the murder of Jody Woe. And he got hit with a fucking max. We catch our eye by the bounds, we getting in his ass And you can't ask a sucker side cause that can't get a pass You want to drop him in the pierce where I'm chilling at I'm probably bullying to the necklace where my villa's at Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who underestimated Murder Gang Juju, you know On the outside looking in, he looks like a straight fucking clown But he obviously means everything he raps about Because that did not take long, guys Usually, people fight murders for years and years Three years at least But fuck, this only took about a year and a half, two years, guys, and he has all those fucking codies, which means someone is snitching on his black ass, or he snitched on himself, or they just have substantial witnesses and evidences and all kind of bullshit going on against his favor. I honestly think all of them are fucked, fucked, fucked. Fake ass Chris Brown got caught or identified or placed at the scene, I'm sorry, because a fucking cheap ass flashlight that was connected to his fucking soul snatching apparatus fell off the gun while they were doing their damn drill with his fingerprints and DNA all over it. So, you guys, just try and put in perspective what kind of evidence that these fucking amateur killers have against their favor. Because fuck, that was fast. And I said all those fucking codies. But let me reiterate that, you know? It was Mama, K-Squeeze, Murder Gang Juju, and Eddie Young, and fake-ass Chris Brown on that drill. That's why I say all those codies, because it took all those people and all those goddamn shots and they accidentally hit Jody Woe. He was not the target. T that topic is the fact that G-Man, a.k.a. Eugene, Mr. Ten Letter, is supposed to testify against the murderer of Jody Woe. As we all recall, Jody Woe was amongst three of the main top murders in June of 2020. Three years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Jody Woe died, that kicked it off. You know what I'm saying? Moving fast forward, they ended up arresting a few BOE members at first. You know what I'm saying? Word of mouth from 10 Letter. You know what I'm saying? They was, you know what I'm saying? Word on the street from 10 Letter that has something to do with BOE. So, they were originally investigated for the murder of Jody Woe. But see, that wasn't the case here. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't the case at all. It was just a lot of speculation. After Jody Woe, the next day, K-Squeeze is murdered. So within the first 24 hours of Jody, Wo Jody Woe being murdered, K-Squeeze is murdered. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Feds is doing a full-blown investigation. They were following the narrow and fair round for three months prior to the arrest. They were arrested. They went to trial. The narrow and fair beat the trial. But the murder suspect for Jody Wall was still at large. You know what I'm saying? And many people don't know that the narrow and, and, and G man, you know what I'm saying? AKA Keith and Eugene, you know what I'm saying? They mamas is from Metaview, you know what I'm saying? But that's not even the case. Fast forward, you know what I'm saying? BOE Mumu is pictured in the suspected suspect of the murder of Jody Woe when BOE Mumu was best friends with Jody Woe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about when he was sleeping at the park at eight, nine years old, you know what I'm saying? Jody Wall mama took him in. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Jody Wall really was from Old Park at first. You know what I'm saying? But he seen how they got, you know what I'm saying? He seen how they, they got jiggy. He wasn't, you, you, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't getting jiggy with it. You know what I'm saying? So he parted ways. You know what I'm saying? And ironically, Jody Wall passes. K Squeeze passes. Boom. Chris passes away. All within about a two, three week time span in June. Of 2020. Mamas being acquaintances. You know what I'm saying? Homies, mamas taking in, them in, feeding them. To them growing up funking with each other. Over what? Over street signs. You know what I'm saying? Over street signs. Now, we in this new era of gang banging. Internet gang banging to be exact. And everybody just 
politic and just the politic and they have no substantial reason to politic. You know what I'm saying? And then we end up in unfortunate situations. Chain of events occur. You know what I'm saying? And nobody wants to take accountability. 